minimizing charisma, maximizing intelligence, shooting someone in the crotch with a cannonball, thrust, propulsion, it's sciency. <laughs> Why you always gotta be blowing my spot up like that? There are my runes. There they are. I'm not mad. Science needs art and art needs science. They both need each other to function properly. There are ways to figure out what the paper is really saying. And then I'm ready to get on Twitter and yell at people about doing their own research on the- oh! Oh, oh, hold on there, sports fan. Kyle Hill, everybody, is the next generation of science communicator. I'm going to be too old at a certain point to do those terrible things to my body, and it'll be up to you. <laughs> Adam. Please, calm down. Chat, Chatathan Taylor Thomas. Welcome to A Scientist Plays Atomic Heart. Yes, I know I have one of the longest live streams in the business, but you don't even know how long it actually is. Some say we'll never know. Thanks again, Adam, for that amazing intro. Thanks to all of you who are joining me today for Atomic Heart. This is Scientist Place, where your resident scienceman, that's me, plays some of your favorite games, anticipated games, science fiction-y games of all tor oh, types and sizes and shapes, and sees if we can science them while we play them. Dare I say, the only place on the internet where you can learn and be learned on good gaming at the same time. Chat, we're playing Atomic Heart today. A game somewhat loosely based on fusion technology, as you see before you. But I'm sure we'll get into that. Where do we get into that, chat? At the facility, of course. Welcome. I've been excited about this game for years. Um, and let me just get it right off the bat. I know there was some semi-controversy about, uh, about this being based on Russia. And, um, about the game having Russian employees. Now, let me just say that personally, I know people in Ukraine. I know people that have died in Ukraine. And I feel like this game is fine in that regard. In that it was in development in 2018 there's employees in Russia they don't want to come out and say anything explicit or else some of those employees might suddenly I don't know fall out of a building so I think this is all right I've been excited about this game for a long time you know I'm a nuclear enthusiast I've been to I, I've been to the city that I think they're basing this first city on. And we'll get into everything. Of course, if you want to see all of our other Scientist Plays excursions, you can like this stream. You can subscribe to this channel. If you want to see all of our latest main videos on the main channel, where my job is to explore and explain everything underneath the stars and beyond, that's on the main channel. At Kyle Hill on YouTube. Just had a video about Last of Us go up. Last episode was very good, by the way. Uh, we'll have a video about Atomic Heart and some of its technology going up as well. Very soon. Of course, you can see everything early. You can get access to me at any time of day on Discord. If you join, as one of my eyes, may my, my AIs is saying in the chat right now. Now, chat, you may, before we begin, uh, notice that I have a, a poll in the chat. That's to play in Russian with subtitles, original Russian in subtitles, or in English. Now, I put that because every single thing that I've seen from this game, the English voice acting is terrible. Um, oh, well. Um, and I see that in all the reviews of the game, too. Now, I can't change the size of the subtitles. I already tried. So if they're too hard for you to read, we might just switch to English and deal with it. But we'll see. Um, welcome to all the people I recognize, many facility members. Why Manimal, Dima, Stunt, Malcolm, Gamer Brony. 
Takes a lot of guts to do that. Adorable horror from beyond. A.W. Turbo Power. Alexander Steven Nana. Peter Kulagowski. Liz, welcome. Tara, welcome. Eyeliner Witch. Still looking fabulous. JG Science Gaming says kill. Cool. Jazz, welcome. Look at all that. Look at all that nonsense I got up there. I forget almost every time. It's Kevin's fault. Someone should remind me. I was trying to write my name. Luis Valenzuela. MC Jonas, new member of the facility, Gamers Division. You ever do any dinosaur stuff? You mean science-wise or like... What kind of stuff are you talking about? Um, chat, this is the gaming wing of the facility where I sit in front of two 27-inch monitors. They're split right down the middle because I can dislocate my eye muscles to look at games like a gaming chameleon. We're about to game. You see my Steam library, my PS6 behind me, what you're saying, what we're playing today. That's Atomic Heart. How fast is Godzilla, says Jay, Jay Eros. Uh, he'd be slow, if he could move at all. Uh, I'll be... Even the intro screen on this is, is cool, chat. Uh, my hair color changes uh, based on my perception of a threat. Dark Jester, welcome. Chat, for the next three hours because I have to get off early. For the next three hours, we will be diving into what I hope will be both a fun and extremely sciencey game. Spoiler alert, I played the first five minutes just to see what was going on. And it is indeed incredibly sciencey, and I'm very excited. JG Science. Love the gaming channel, longtime viewer. Trying to relieve the stress of nursing school. Want to say thank you for inspiring me to keep going. I'm proud of you, JG. Audi, Rad Dad. Chat, there's nothing else to say, but welcome to a scientist plays Atomic Heart. Even my camera's Atomic Chat. Um, so it looks like, let me. Oh, it's 50 50 right now, the poll, English or Russian. Vote now if you haven't. I'm going to close the... I'm going to... You have one minute. You have one minute. Um, I'm playing on medium. Uh, the game... I, I <laughs> My PC can handle ultra max, ultra plus atomic settings. Um, but when I booted it up and tried the stream, uh, I, I couldn't even get like 10 frames per second. So. Cool dude. Welcome. Subtitles are super distracting. Please, Russian. English is pretty cringy. Okay, chat. So it looks like... It looks like English has won. So what we're gonna do... Is, uh... We're gonna play it in English. And if it gets too cringy, we'll change it. I know the Russian sounds better. Spaced out, I know. What is this game about? Uh... What is this game about? This game is about uh, an alternate history Soviet, an alternate past um, where Soviet Russia made an incredible technological leap with the help of something called polymer. Uh, it doesn't really matter what polymer is, but it allowed for things like cold fusion and all these other technological um, rapid advances, which changed the course of the 1950s dramatically. Um, and they created a little utopia a uh, little utopia where basically everything was handled by robots. And after everything was handled by robots, they started implanting brain machine inf interfaces into people, which would hopefully control the machines via thought. And that is where things may go awry or not. And remember, chat, if we have questions, if there's something that I want to see or say, we will science time it. Okay. 
So Russia did the big science and then things go bad because probably yes? Uh, yeah. I love these little animations. They're really, they're really cute. <laughs> Punish me, robots. Oh. Now, what's interesting is that the X button sometimes doesn't work on my controller now. El Corona Ed Coronado, welcome. Peered, welcome. Hired. Pavki. Sometimes my X button doesn't work on my controller. And if that is the case, we might have to get a new controller. But we'll see. Starting out pretty good. <laughs> Perfect. 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 Let everything load in. Let everything load in. Let it. Perfect. I said new game. It didn't listen to me. Could you feel that rent? And now it switched my controller to Xbox. Interesting. And now it's not. And now my control. Accept. 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 Anytime now. Anytime now. This is going great. Accept. And Simon says accept. So I can press X there, huh? Easy. Accept. And we're gonna go ahead and accept it. And Simon says accept it. Okay, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna load that up. We're gonna remove that. And we're gonna just go to new game. We're gonna say accept. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say accept. And once we do that, I'm just gonna press this on my goddamn keyboard. <laughs> Amazing. Incredible. I do have other controllers I can switch to, chat, if this becomes a serious uh, problem. Sorry if this is a dumb question, but my wife and I were wondering about if outer space is all the same temperature. Uh, also, if friction would be able to make heat in the void of space. This is why manimal. Um, space has an average temperature of about 3 Kelvin, but space is not all the same temperature. Um, go anywhere near a star millions of kilometers within a star and you're going to be automatically I mean just just the light shining on you to put it in perspective um the light shining on you and we're paused for a second if you are in shadow or in direct sunlight in space say you're near the sun say you're on the moon um the difference in temperature is a couple hundred degrees okay so no not everything in space is the same temperature um, and there's no friction in space. Well, there, there's no, there's no consistent medium in space. There are lonely particles in space, about one atom per cubic centimeter of usually hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe in space. Um, but nothing like air to provide a significant amount of friction. If I set something off in one direction, if I chucked a, a space ball, <laughs> a baseball, in space ball, if I chucked it in one direction, in space, and it didn't interact with anything gravitationally, um, then it could reach the end of the universe without slowing down. Oh, I forgot to switch to English. Chat, you're gonna hear it. Language, English. Oh, it already did that. Hmm. Okay. okay, it didn't do it. <laughs> it's 
streamer mode. On. I am a streamer. English. Russian. Display. Cool. Still in Russian. Audio. Options. No. Main menu. Yes. Incredible. This is... Chat, we will get there. Audio language, that's why. Couldn't change it in-game. And now we shall see... Just how cringy it might be. New game. And go ahead and start. And go ahead and start. And I'm just gonna slam the enter button. <laughs> Incredible. It's not... I don't know if it's the game. I mean, this is the only game where my X button doesn't work. But, I don't know. We'll see. If I have to use keyboard... I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it Chat, how is the volume the of the game versus when I'm talking at the same time? Is it good? Will we make it for the speech? <laughs> We've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chelomay City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. I like the Icarus reference, getting too close to the sun. Scientists from all the other Soviet before burning up. Live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Now, what this immediately makes me think of, Chad, is Pripyat, which is an Atomgrad. And an Atomgrad is a city. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Uh, an Atomgrad is a city built up and around a nuclear power plant that houses all the workers, engineers, etc., etc. And Pripyat was that for the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And back in the Soviet, um, back when it was built, looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. Prip <laughs> that always cracks me up. <laughs> me too, buddy. Uh, Pripyat was a shining, gleaming jewel of the Soviet Union. Yeah, I noticed. Brilliant young scientists and their families all wanted to work there. It was like the SpaceX um, versus NASA. Wow. It was where day. everyone who was smart and intelligent would go to work on what was supposed to be. The largest nuclear power plant in the world. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. There you go. What's up with your Vobas box, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do? Um. To them? So this this is very reminiscent of what Pripyat lo used to look like. If you go look at what it used to look like, it's very much like that. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Hey, got a little pig pit. Okay then. Get to work, you bums. I really like the design aesthetic of all these things, the very uh you know, concentric shapes and, and geometries are really, really nice. They're very uh very aesthetically pleasing. Being able to deliver plants and everything. Oh, hey, buddy. Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept one. fine. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. Would I'll this kind of boat safe. thing Report work? This corkscrew kind of propulsion? This is Dark Stalker? Yes. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. All this kind of propulsion is doing, Chet, is taking water from the front and pushing it towards the back. In that kind of way, it's like jet propulsion uh, in, a, in a jet ski. It's like rocket propulsion in that you're taking some mass and moving it out of the system at velocity, which creates a change of momentum, a which is acceleration, you, which airway. creates a force, you which moves you forward. Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. <laughs> you dickhead. <laughs> That's so, that delivery is atrocious. I really hate what I'm seeing, says Dima Jeddar. Why is that? Comrades, Icarus platform 
residents and facility guests. This game has its its labs are called facility, and they they even list them in brackets. I'm not saying it ripped me off. Reminds me of a lot of bad stuff. That's why I don't like what I'm seeing. Says Dima Jetter. Uh, this this is simply uh, an alternate history Soviet Union. See now, what I like about this is I've seen a lot of this in uh, when I was at Chernobyl. Heart of the Robot, a peaceful atom. At the top of one of the buildings, at the top of one of the buildings in Pripyat, it says, uh, "Make Adam a worker." and not a soldier. And the idea really was to harness... Oh, 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 oh. Really was to make um, nuclear power a way to change their world and, and advance far beyond the other superpowers of the world. Yeah, this design is really cool. I feel really great. And I've already started studying physics and chemistry. That's amazing. I'm getting polymerized today. The rest oh. of the country has to wait until Monday. Wolfenstein did the same thing. So Steven Rios. Yeah. I mean, and and Escape from Tarkov does the same thing. They're a Russian company that has employees in in Moscow. I don't I don't blame Escape from Tarkov devs for handling the situation the way they're handling it. They aren't their governments. You know. So that is reminiscent of a... Um, this is reminiscent of a statue at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. This is a reminiscent of a statue at the nuclear power plant of Chernobyl. And it is a statue um, called Prometheus, who... Uh, according to folklore, was the one to take the fire from the gods. Um, and they got burned by it after share, and he got burned and tortured forever afterwards um, because the gods didn't want him to give the gift of fire to mortals. Um, and uh, it's at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant because of that. It was kind of the site of where we try to take fire from the gods, nuclear power, and we got burned by it. Um, so this is almost directly analogous to that, and I like it. Anton Goikman. Hey, Kyle, I'm from Kiev. Greetings. Have you seen lots of Soviet artwork or posters, Kyle? Old Soviet textbooks, by chance? Um, I only saw the old textbooks um, when I was inside the buildings in Pripyat, like the hospital and other residential buildings. Um, so I haven't seen the... I don't know if they were specifically Soviet ones or not. I didn't know what I was seeing. I can't read Russian. Um, but, uh, Jacques, you for your question. Chat, I, I want us to be, I want us to be realistic and grown up about this. It's the same, as someone pointed out, um, this isn't directly about the war or anything like that. It's similar to Wolfenstein, where if I was playing through a game about an alternate future where Nazis won, you know, me playing that game doesn't mean, yeah, I love that. And plus, everything is going to go wrong here uh, pretty quickly. Steven Rio says, just looked up that statue. Really cool. I know. The Prometheus statue and the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. It's almost like we're educating and entertaining as we're going through, Chet. The only thing... Have you been to the, the only place on the internet where you can get that kind of coolness. So, when they, when they say getting polymerized, they mean putting this new chemical device into their own bodies so they can sync up with all the robots. I, there's the... Uh, Rutherford model of the atom there with uh, electrons orbiting um, a nucleus made out of protons and neutrons. We now know that electrons don't orbit like little planets uh, around the sun. Rather, electrons 
are in a cloud around a nucleus in a probabilistic way. Invisible Ray, new facility gamer, welcome. Discoveries and pay your respects to all the victims of war. Pay your respects to all the victims of war. I mean, it's right there, Chad. Come on. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Chad. If you want me to redo all the voice lines and re-upload them, I just might. Um, so, this is a wall of science telling the history of this town, this Atomgrad, as we said, like Pripyat was, to, Chern to Chernobyl. And I want to see if there's any sciencey stuff we can learn here. Grey Moons, welcome. First man spaceflight. Yuri Gagarin. First man flying to space. Correct. Neural network is launched at the facility. First world, first global network brings together all of mankind's greatest achievements. Neural networks. You fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. <laughs> I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Okay. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. First polymer-based hydrogen cell. The future of Soviet robotics takes on global importance. Kyle, enjoying the gameplay so far? I haven't done much yet. I'm just reading the science parts. Just in case. Just in case. Comrade Sachinov develops polymers, a scientific miracle that determines the future course of human civilizations in the Soviet Union and abroad. Spasibo. So it seems like the game's plugging and chugging a little bit when it's loading new areas, but it's running smooth when it does so. I really like the designs. The science of the polymers is incredible. Okay, first of all, your haircut. Second of all, yeah, science is pretty cool. Science could probably get you a better haircut. Bye-bye. I really like the design of these robots. It's really aesthetically pleasing me. Like, just, just so, like, very unique. Kind of ostrichian. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. Very this 50s kitchen appliance Soviet vibes. Education. Exactly. We love, we love that aesthetic here. A Dr. Sechenov's poly education. It's Adam Gone Punk, are the you know. days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, what you doing? Just inject a special neuropolymer. That's a uh, that's a BMI brain machine brain machine interface right there. Natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Yes, I do actually. Or learn to play the piano with Collective 2.0. You can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. Skip the four play bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> carbon carbon fiber Comrade muscles, Chad? Is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your eminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Oh, this one. That's how I pick stuff up? Okay. It's magnetic. 
See, usually, chat on uh, those little plates that you see, um, they are magnetic. They're called stirring plates, and those stirring plates allow you to stir solutions uh, without having to physically put something in there yourself and stir it like you would a cup of tea. So, uh, and all you lab nerds know this if you've ever worked in a lab. Um, I've worked in a lab. But, uh, so you have your normal uh, flask or, or uh, whatever. And then you put a magnetic piece, you, you put something magnetic, you drop it into the flask, and this piece of magnetic material is covered in plastic so that it won't scratch uh, the glass or, or whatever your flask is or cylinder is. And then the plate underneath is an electromagnet, and the plate can be adjusted to spin that little magnet inside the glass on top of it at any speed that you want for any duration that you want. And that's a, that's a stirring plate, and it uh, can be magnetic like that, and maybe that's why it took him a little bit of, uh, to get that thing off. It's shaped like little DNA in there. Ooh. I like that. So wasteful. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system. It won't let me skip Especially any dialogue. Especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger oh, wait. Stop the whole holy shit bot who designed this thing the spanish inquisition i don't get that tap and hold got it demon be gone <laughs> for your information that's a highly user-friendly gesture it was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. <laughs> Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. The guy. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago. Oh man. Shut your trap and the keep dialogue. Standing, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove What what the game does is interesting in is that when I'm but looking at now, something please continue and I change mission. directions I'm slowed down for a short period. But if I'm not looking at something of interest, I don't have the I don't have any slowdown. But if I look at her, I slow down and then I speed up again. You see that? I wonder if they're doing that on purpose. It's kind of interesting. Ooh, I'm sipping my little robot juice. Oh, 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 oh I'm so fancy. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3820. I can't believe they called the facility. Is about to begin. I'm suing. What other sciencey stuff is here, Chad? I'm sure we'll be getting into it. It all looks great. I mean, Greetings, comrades. the design, the visual style is really. It pops. It's got its own. Aesthetic. <laughs> like I said, the Rutherford Mo model of the atom is no longer accurate yet. But this is the 90, 1950s. But you can't really show an aesthetically pleasing cloud of electrons around something in a sculpture like this. Why is it? So, yeah, look look at this. If I look at something, it slows me down. But if I'm not looking at something, it speeds me up. Huh. I wonder if it's doing that on purpose. At last, a network of humans and robots. So the collective they're talking about. Yeah, so they're we're implanting everybody with uh, brain machine interfaces and then intercollect connecting everything so we can control them. Yes. On behalf of all at facility 38. So glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. 
It's been left it with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, Human not really. To be at the center of yeah, not really. Point out, a network for all do. mankind. Take it. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, See, it always slow, amazes me. It slows me it's down. Just slows me so down. nice. Our elevator has a Look at this. Looks like looks like a connector. You will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human Chat. and of course combining. If you're enjoying the stream, like the stream. Also I have a question for you. If you could immediately learn anything at, at a PhD PhD level, what would it be? What would it be, Chad? What would be your thing? Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be Oh, you guys can't even see. Oh, yeah. Want to learn a foreign language in a Biology, rocket science, grilled cheese techniques, astrophysics, cooking. Every language ever spoken. Nuclear power, video game programming, linguistics, astrophysics. A lot of different ones. No one has said the same thing yet. Helicopter flight. Can you get a PhD in that? I would learn Kyle Hill's hair routine. That that requires more than a PhD. I have a PhD because I'm a pretty hairy dude. Oh. Neil deGrasse Tyson's critical thinking says, Scott, you can do better than that. A PhD in getting PhDs says Tate. That's cheating. Explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. I know you're giving I know you're giving a speech, but can you like shut up for a second? I'm not used to the interact button being a, a bumper. It's Talk never about in. Style. Oh okay. Chad, I'm gonna need some quiet for a second. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than I agree. an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We could take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Oh, they actually are ballerina robots, Chad, because they're standing on point like that. It takes an extreme amount of practice. Um, it's incredibly painful. I dated a ballerina once. Her feet were messed up. But also, why didn't anyone tell me that they're eight feet tall? Hey, if you could, uh, just, uh, girls, if you could just excuse me for a second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, if you could just, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know why standing like that is even hotter. Oh my god. Get in the turbine. Ooh, they're in, chat, they're in, chat, they're in, okay. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Let me buy hot robots! Mommy? Sorry. Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The feet are off-putting? Oh, they're just normal feet. They're just day. pointed down and curled. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all men. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, you really built yourself a future, boss. There's just nothing like it in the USSR. Kind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These let's, let's see if I can. Castles I'll, I'll try to do one before be he does one. The beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. Okay. I'm merely. <laughs> you always were a dreamer, Sechenov. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science. Okay, who did it who did it better? Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. I agree. Flying machines, space travel, I even agree. robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. It's Russian Andrew Ryan. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's 
Let, uh, I'm gonna try another one. I'll try like another line. Check. Let me let me try one. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need to swear to defend my, mankind and his destiny. So he might want me to do something bad, and I'm a soldier, and that's my motivation, right? <clears throat> And I have a, you know, I'm kind of quick, I'm quite, I'm kind of witty, but, you know, I'm still, you know, I'm still a tool and I get my job done. You know, you do, you defend, you defend uh, the USSR. You need me to get, you need me to get, hmm. you need me to get rid of somebody, boss. You uh, need me to get rid of somebody, boss. You need to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very yeah, I was about the same. about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. Do an Australian. But let's no. take it one step at a time. Everyone had a lot First, of opinions about my stream. Just... Chat, I had a dream last night that I tried my Australian accent for Chris Hemsworth. We were hanging out. That's how deep this goes. Substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Get in the car now. Is it another... Are the Tereshkova robots, uh, ballerina models? Chat, they're so hot. Wait, did Hemsworth like it? He said 9.5 in my dream. Sounds like you're turning your American accent up to an 11, says CJ. Yeah, see, I can do generic video game tough guy voice. That's easy. You know. You want me to go over to the... You want me to knock someone off, boss? Why don't we go over here? Reloading. There's no way you're getting through me. You're dead. That's easy. I like the aesthetic, chat. I really do. Like, that is... Ooh, now it lets me zoom in. That is very cool. Can you do Joel from Last of Us? Hmm. Hmm. You are stepping on some mighty thin ice here. How about that? Have you done voice acting work before? I've done a, an audition or two. I auditioned to, I had, I auditioned to be in uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, the sequel. Didn't get it. Ooh. Well, then why make it a key if it just... Uh, I don't care. Whatever. Why is Tereshkova, or astronaut, named for a robot, lol? Well, maybe it looks like an astronaut. Please it's... secure your seatbelt. I like this. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Those air turbines aren't uh, big enough, and it's not spinning quickly enough. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? How's your, how's your Canadian accent? Well, you're looking for a Donnybrook there, bud. The entire <laughs> Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of collective... Chet, I love retro futurism. I love Atom Punk designs. I love, you know, Bioshocky, Fallout 4 y kind of designs. So this is, this is, this is, screw that. We've got plenty of thought devices. This is extremely up my alley. Said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? Ozyorsk. That's more like it. Chat, how do you keep a floating city off the ground? You really do have to... You really do have to throw enough air down to equal the weight up. And if you know anything about air... I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. If you know anything about air, it's very... What did what? you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stuck. He <laughs> just make it... A Hitler reference because the guy happens to be German? Okay, game. Cousin, <laughs> Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Um, so you. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Yes. Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise yes, me. Yes, it was. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. 
Everybody else needs to earn it. I love the look anyway, of Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying Come on, game, you can do it. Before? You can do it. How about flying cows? Yeah, Would those I'm things work better on Mars? No. One time some genius like you... Chet, so Flying City, you have to throw enough momentum down in the opposite direction that you want to go. That's all rocket science is. Um, and so with to move a rocket, what we do is move a lot of mass, which is fuel, out the back of something very, very quickly. This creates a large momentum change, which induces a force, makes you go up. It's, we call it thrust. Um, now, throwing liquid in a combustion process out the back of something at hundreds of kilometers. No, I don't know how, exactly how fast it is, but uh, <laughs> many thousands of meters per second. That's a lot of momentum change. The problem with trying to lift something very heavy with fans is that unlike something like liquid oxygen or LOX or, or another rocket fuel, air is not very dense at all. Air in the atmosphere, it's about one kilogram per cubic meter. Two pounds per cubic meter of space. So it doesn't weigh very much, doesn't have very much mass. Um, and then fans aren't, these fans aren't spinning very fast, which means you're not moving them downwards very fast. So the overall momentum change is very, very small. So to lift something like a dang city, you need much bigger fans than you think spinning much faster than you think. And we don't have that here. That's fine. It would look ridiculous. But who am I? Forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Man, I, I hope this guy shuts up. I do love the visuals though, Chad. This is only on medium too. I played for a couple minutes just to get the stream set up on ultra max settings. Woo! Yeah, how could you fall? Yeah, how, how could you sound bored when you're flying above the clouds in a car? Ooh, okay. All right. And this is streamer mode, so we're not going to get docked for any music, which is cool. It's cool that they have a streamer mode for a single player game. That's something that usually doesn't happen. We're going to have a uh, Fallout style reveal here, I'm guessing, of the entire. This is Facility 3826's nice. audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Moisture moving up in accordance Estimated with the wind. The time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, you can do it. 26 degrees you Celsius. Can do it. There is you can a do it. slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granny. Couldn't they fill the inside with helium or something and then use and turbines to get a little bit more lift? Profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. Um, These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev ray. Not really. This technology was pioneered by the Chelame Design Department and a personal project. Helium only of Dr. has a lift. Ah, Levitiansky. Oh, helium only has a lifting capacity of about one pound per cubic. Um, meter or one pound per cubic foot rather and so a cubic foot is pretty large which means you need a very very large volume to get a significant amount of mass off the ground with a lifting gas um with a lifting gas like helium and that's why blimps are so much bigger than the little things they carry underneath the blimps buster sharp keeping track of the science times appreciate you buster You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's hey, various complexes. They call it the facility. Controlled Come on. By a collective That's mine. Node, a 
plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Cool. Chad, if I like this game enough, we'll play it together. But I'll buy it on my PS5 and I'll play it. Directly below too. is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. Cool design. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, now, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements. See what's and important the there, chat. See what's important there, chat. Um, right below my head there. It's important to be able to swivel um, solar farms so that they can get the most amount of sunlight, um, especially in an area like this. A mountainous region would be bad um, for a solar farm because uh, of how turbulent the weather can be, how much how clouds can just come in and out without warning every few minutes, et cetera, et cetera. If you've ever climbed a mountain or been in a mountainous area, you know this. That's why we want solar farms in lower areas that are much flatter long desert spaces that wouldn't have all these atmospheric conditions um even out in the desert uh in the in soviet russia the facility steals you <laughs> um like solar collection towers near vegas they have ten thousand mirrors around these towers and they don't pivot as much as the ones you're seeing down there i can figure this out seeing down there but they do pivot a good amount to follow the sun Lines. Maglev train stations connect all of facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex. People know to how Maglev trains work, right? And ease. We don't have to do that. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II. Flying and are now entering the grounds of the Babylon complex. Uh, John Allison, are flying cities possible on Earth, or do we need to set them up on planets like Venus or Jupiter? Root. I want to hear all this science. Um, John, flying cities would be much more possible on a planet with a much denser atmosphere. Because if you're trying to lift something up in the atmosphere, um, something that could be, say, with a balloon, um, on Earth, it's hard because the relative density of, uh, of helium compared to air, it's lighter than air, but not that much. So it's lifting capacity isn't that much. Um, and therefore it can't suspend very much weight underneath a balloon. Um, but on, on a place like Jupiter or Saturn or some, some place with a much, much denser atmosphere, the dent, the weight difference could be huge. And so you could get a huge buoyant force out of a volume. It's the same thing as like putting a beach ball, trying to submerge a beach ball in a pool. There's a lot of force there, right? Oh, it's because the water is so dense relative to what is inside of the beach ball, which is just air, which isn't very dense. Um, so it, you could do that in effect in an, in the upper atmosphere of a gas giant. Welcome Koopa. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Lena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the collective 1.0 neural network. With Chat, I might listen to this uh, soundtrack Note what I'm working. effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. <laughs> Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Yo, this song slaps. Always ready to welcome new specialists Have you ever tried legitimate voice acting? Says Madlad. Yes. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific I think I think I could be really good at it. Communist Party and I think I could be really good at voice acting if I took it seriously as a job. Patrova's initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? For your safety, please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You can do it, game. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can. I know you can do it. Game, I know you can do it. Game, I know you can do it. Game, I, I believe in you. I'm your only friend here. Game. You have reached your destination. Oh. You are now at the laboratory gate. There we go. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Babylon complex. 
I like what their voices. What the hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. Uh -oh. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations uh -oh. until they suddenly became hostile. Leave her alone. Don't hurt her. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Jesus. Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Whoa! Fuck. He sucked oh, her into fuck. the fan. There you go. Yeah, I hear there's a lot of sudden WTF moments. The one that I like from the trailers is when that guy gets cut in half by a, by a laser, but we'll see. All right, it's killing time, it says Turbo Power. Ah, I see he has adopted the Sigma Chad haircut and beard. Don't look at me, Chad. Don't you look at me when I say that. The sound design is really good. And uh, I bet when combat kicks in, there's a Mick Gordon soundtrack. I bet it's going to be freaking cool. Uh, Grey Moon says, optimized, huh? Well, it could be... Okay, so it, it's not running great. But my stream very much has something to do with it. I don't have two streaming PCs because I don't stream full-time and I don't care. Um, Wizard, but when, this is P3. Come in. But when I'm playing by myself, most games run perfectly smooth. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on Ooh, I was clearly started a while ago. I was excited Sir to see this Petrov polymer chat. Is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into collect <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, see now my X key works Victor perfectly? Petrov <laughs> is the reason. He's okay. a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission? Find him. And bring him to me, alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section of Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh, now I can move fast. This polymer stuff looks really cool. Okay, that's that. Is this sprint? Chicken? <laughs> you serious? Oh, this is the uh, DLC axe, I guess. Okay. You cool? Like, we good? Are we good or like... Okay, you're cool. How are we? Okay, so we're not good, right? Okay, that's dodge. Got it. Oh! I'm in polymer. I've through polymer plenty of times and I haven't drowned yet. It's a freaking miracle of modern science. This is no time to be talking. I have to get used to the attack timing on that. Okay, that's how I suck stuff up. Say I did. 
I'm sad. I want to play this game and get a motion sickness, and I have to pass in the game for the sake of my physical health. That's that's fine. Cool dude. I'm sorry if I'm breaking the rules for asking so many questions in a short period. Totally fine. That's what we're here for, chat. We're here for science time. And the dismemberment of robots. This looks really good. So I won't... Why does it slow me down like that? It's so weird. If I stop... I guess I need a... Will I not drown in polymer? I like that. They can do some really clever things by allowing you to traverse, like, areas upwards and downwards by swimming. Those robots have some parts you can suck up. I don't think so. I mean, I'm not going to need them right now. I'm sure there's more robots. We're just getting the hang of the controls, chat. We'll get there. Oh, yeah. It's this one. Yeah, I can't. It would have... All right, you're right. You win. Liz, thanks for joining us. Always appreciate it. Oh, I can suck, Jared. See, I need to get used to the time, so it's like attack. Oh, I can. So I can do a rapid. No, see what? Do I have to do like double tap? Can't how do how do I time like a holy shit? What is that? Hey, glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way. Jay Long, inside. now a okay, facility gamer. Welcome, my friend. But first, let me check hey, out you. this bag. coming. You alive in there? No, it's a robot. Hey. Did you stuff a body in there? Oh jeez. Oh! Are you gonna stuff me in there? Get away from me! It's <laughs> what? It wants to shove me in the toilet! That's where it was murdering people. Ow! Ow! She ah! Fuck yourself! Nah. Get the fuck off me! Whoa! <laughs> what are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> you should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for I like that. No that was very. I've never seen anything like that. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who what? are you? Me? Zena. Granny Zena. Badass Granny Zena. People like, people like the babouche. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone she sounds who perfectly find Russian, a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? I mean, I know I'm holding a giant course, axe, but... But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. How do you know shit. what... It's a chilla. Son chilla. of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass. 30 seconds until oh. what? <sighs> 30 seconds until we're fucked, Sunny boy. Royally fucked. <laughs> oh, my game. My game. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. How do you know so you much about this apocalypse? There, apocalypse it, within like... Here we go. Was I out for a week? How long was I, how long was I out? Eat shit and die. Jeez. <laughs> Come to Granny. Where'd 
you get that thing? No Give it to way. Me. You hang on to that key. <laughs> I got this. Uh oh. Unmatch FPS between your video output and the game's frames per second, says Joshua G. Okay, we can fix that. I have uncapped FPS on the game, so maybe that's why. And then it wouldn't be the game's fault, chat. It would not be the game's fault. I don't know if I can change it here. I'm making the sounds because it doesn't have sounds. Let's see if it runs smooth now. Maybe we... Chet, if it was my fault, then you have to give the game Whoa, a pass on the optimized... Clusterfuck. On the optimized thing. It's running pretty dang smooth now. Hey. Just to make sure. Okay. Give me your bones. Give me your sweaty bones. What I really like is that you can just hold down the gather button. Is it is it uh is it too dark yet? We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here huh? as a prisoner. I mean, that was... They couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. That was definitely Replacing better. the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. The Academy of Consequences. Chat, I'm an idiot. Chat, I'm so stupid. Why my X button hasn't been working is because it's given me Xbox prompts the entire time, but I only just realize it because it's only shown X, and X on Xbox is square on PlayStation. So I've been pressing... It's only shown one button prompt. So I thought that was PlayStation. And it wasn't. I just needed to press square. Oh my god. Look at the UI there, I like that. Okay, so I only have one of those, so I'm gonna switch back to this. How are you suspended like that? We still love you, Kyle. Yeah, I'm, I'm a dummy sometimes, but it's okay. Break rooms are the game's safe areas. Manual, save, station. And they're shaped like little hearts. Got it. With little cartoons you can watch. I really like that feature. Fading data. Thank you. What's your name? Maru? Is your name Maru? Five time GSL StarCraft II champion Maru? Uh, and the uh -oh. machines rose from. On seeing the red highlight, dodge it. Right. May I give you some advice? 
I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. Thanks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power oh. surge are especially dangerous and may not be one. Jeez. Uh, what? This way, that won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed yeah. robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. Is that down? Yes. Got it. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. Way ahead of you. I'm sucking everything. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalakov bag Ooh, that was cool. pack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. What? It uses a quantum singularity to shrink the size of your items. No. Um. Over one half of you forgot to hit the like button, says Constant Gardener. Yeah, first of all, before I talk about this, like the stream if you haven't liked the stream so far. We're about at our halfway point. Then we'll take a little bit of a break to stand up and excrete anything you need to excrete from your non-shiny body. And then we'll continue forward. Uh, but like the stream. Mm. I know the science advisor for Ant-Man. He's a friend of mine. His name is Dr. Spiridon Michalakis. He is a theoretical, quant a mathematical quantum physicist at Caltech. Good friend of mine. He orders too much at dinner, and it ends up being way more expensive than I want. Um, his explanation for how Ant-Man works is basically pim particles bombard the particles um, in your body, transforming the electrons that orbit all the nuclei in your body into something heavier um, to maintain energy levels. It's, it, it, get, it gets very complicated very quickly. But to maintain the energy levels before, that heavier thing has to be closer to the nucleus. And in being closer to the nucleus, it effectively shrinks each atom. And by shrinking every quadrillion, quadrillion, quadrillion atoms in your body, it shrinks you down. So that was his explanation for like pin particles and how that works, etc., etc. But a quantum singularity, I, I never heard of that in relation to shrinking things. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Well, yeah, but what I said, though. Yes. Yes. I drink your science shake. I drink it up! Okay, one in there. I'm gonna explore the sh stuff out of this. Hey. That's a window. Eh. Game didn't like that. Game didn't like that. Got it. Can I get in there? Game did not like that. Game does not like anything about what I'm doing. I see a creepy guy over there. Okay, so I learned that I can't go in every door that I see. Got it. Ooh. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. That guy's gonna hit me. Just a second. Domed. <laughs> uh oh, it's hard to time those uh, those double attacks. Hey, hit! Domed. Chompy, welcome. If you're just joining us, I am sucking these robots. Okay, so how does this how does this uh, mini game work? Wait. Oh, it's kind of like. Oh, okay. Wait. Got 
gotcha. Man, it, it really does not give a good indication of where your lockpick is, huh? Hey, can you get... Oh, sorry. Hey, is there any chance you could leave me to... Slurping. Can't tell when it actually enters my inventory and I, and I have to start glurping. Hey, is there any chance you can... Hey, oh! <laughs> I dodged that. I dodged that. Or did I? Hey, hey Glove. My name is Charles, comrade major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, I'll just patrol the guy now. Ah collective. The I heard that the, the, the melee combat is pretty dang hard. With several, others. several, huh? Damn. So where are they? They have already been eliminated. Two healing items. But it That's will not be good. Impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Oh yeah, I can just hold this down in any direction, right? Uh, no. Slurping and glurping and whirping. Slurping that meat. No. Don't say that. Alright, I can... Does that stop time if I do that? Got it. Ooh. I found more ammo. Running Windows Tentacles, I see. This alternate history is like Far Cry Jedi Bioshock. Thank you for your science and your streams. It's a Sins Arcade with the five. Appreciate you. Just trying my best. Chat, you know, you know I'm gonna kneecap the next guy I see. Ooh, what is what's in the little watch? Oh right, those are the like voice recordings, right? Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated oh, as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic pulse. Oh. So I need to fry it with an Kneecapped. electromagnetic pulse. Kneecap. Oh. How the hell am I going to do that? Kneecap. glove can be equipped to EMV generating shot. Ah, he drop kicked me. Containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module Bye -bye. should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. That wasn't as effective as I wanted it to be. Give me that chirpy. I've done a lot of science time so far. I'm feeling good about that. The the change in movement speed is getting me a little. It's a little wonky. And the dialogue. This guy should have been completely silent and just had Charles talking. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Don't mind me. Just drilling. Check the control settings for smoothing on, and disable it. <sighs> Great. Just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. Oh, this is where a guy gets cut in half. Um. What, what should I, what do you want me to change? What do you want me to change? Smoothing? What do you want me to change? Quick, before I get bored of what you said. Everything's on medium. That there was an elastic bull worm. Controller. Ooh, I don't even have aim assist on. Use PlayStation icons. Yes. Okay, I'm in controls. I don't see any smoothing. Friend B, welcome. I'm getting... I'm getting bored. Hold time. Oh, whatever. I want to see fingers? this. 
Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. You don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Uh-oh. Get out. Larissa. I don't want to die. <laughs> Wait. How does he know her name? She didn't tell him. Holy shit. Avoid the beam. Yeah, avoid yeah, avoid the beam. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Man, you're fast, huh? <laughs> and that's a perfect fight. Ooh. Terminated. Charles, where does oh. the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine, Lurpin. I can deal with it later. That was sick. Glurpin. Glurpin it up. Always keep your gun reloaded, chat. Is there... Can I quick? No. What's that freaky thing on the door? Oh, that was cool. Are you serious? Then open... Are you serious? <laughs> Come on. We're in a life and death situation. Uh... It already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. Well, You'll what? have to find your own method for picking locks. I don't know what's going on. I'm happen. sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. Well, I didn't know that. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> okay, I switched it back to PlayStation, so now it should be placed. So now X is is what I need. That's hard. <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I just saw a guy got cut in half like six seconds ago? <laughs> I'm back to me now. Go ahead. A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? Oh, that don't you ruin the moment. That was awesome until you... Shut up. Dark Jester with the five. With how fast technology has evolved in the last few decades, how far off do you think from having a Terminator-type robot? Uh, pretty far. It's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. I mean, you see the modern Atlas robots right now. Oh, that was coming from a... Got it. Save. Saving data. What is this? Oh, what a stun! I can't get enough of the jumps. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. No need to fight back, sugar. Oh, you're gonna love this. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open to suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator, quick. How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just 
What be at ya? What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys! I'm on fire! Closer! I can't reach her! I'm trying, I'm trying! She's one strong ass bitch! I'm at your service, sugar! Anything from my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. <laughs> Chat. We are halfway through our adventure for today. Uh, I don't know exactly why the upgrading robot in this game needs to be a sexual assault robot. I'm not sure. But what I do know is that we have a lot more gaming to get to after a short commercial break. Chat, if you're enjoying the science time, Buster, what are we up to, huh? Half, at halftime, it's up to 11. 11 science times in an hour and a half. Think about it. That's almost a science time every 10 minutes. You're the lucky ones here. But you'll make me feel lucky if you go ahead and like the stream now. Subscribe to the channel. It'll let me know if you want me to do more of these, more of this game, more of games to come in the future. But I want you to take the next couple of minutes to just stretch, excrete, glurp some water, or whatever neurochemical you have at your disposal. Um, give me just a minute to stretch my limbs, and I will be right back with more Scientist Plays, okay? Literally not a single snack in my entire home. Chat, welcome back. How's everyone doing so far? If you're enjoying the stream, let me know. And before we jump right back into it, if you have any lingering questions, not about this sexually assaultive refrigerator. Let's le let's just let's just move on from that. Whatever that is. <laughs> that was a clean laser face fight, huh? That was, that was pretty good. You are a snack, says Vandoli. Vandoli? Just because I'm a guy doesn't mean it's okay. But also... Um... Do a science moment on the seduce Bobit. Did you see that in Japan? Japan, they have something. They just uh, release an interesting robot. 
that uh, does collections. What band is that for your Ultra Watch? Uh, says Alexander Common. This is the um, sport band. My, the wrists in my family are notoriously skinny, um, and uh, sensitive for whatever reason. And so I didn't want something with notches that could possibly not fit. So I wanted something that was adjustable down to, you know, the, at every single level so I can, you know, make it as tight as I need it to be. Like my buddy Adam, Savage, he wears watches and they just kind of like, they kind of like jiggle and dangle depending on how your arm is. I don't like my watch, my watch to move. Tremaine, welcome. How has bouldering helped... Uh, with maintaining your physical fitness, says Jay Arrows. I haven't bouldered in a while. Um, it's mostly because I hurt my thumb, both my thumbs, with uh, lifting. Um, and uh, I had an injury, a pulley injury in my finger. So I don't, I don't, and I'm getting old, and I'm heavy. So I, I don't know if I'm ever going to get back to climbing hard again. I want to. I want to. It's something that I, 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 I'd like to do for my whole life. And I used to be really good at it. <laughs> I used to be really strong. Um, but I was 30 pounds lighter. And I look like a little baby. I know you don't... I don't know how often you hear it, but I appreciate you and what you do as a positive role model for the community. Your science channel is on the list I keep for, my, for young engineers. Thanks, Kyle, says Tesseract Labs with a 10. Tesseract, I've said this many times... But feedback like that is the guiding light for my entire life. And so for you to share something like that with me honors and humbles me. And I appreciate it. And thank you for sharing. Usually uh, when I'm on my computer, I, I screenshot messages like that. And I, uh, and I put them in a folder called Nice Things. Because nice things are nice. Chat, why are all the robots so horny? Pixel Glitch, welcome. Uh, chat, I think, you know, as controversial as it may be, I think we'll we'll do another um, stream about Ohio train derailment on Friday for office hours. Um, it had the highest live viewers we ever had, and it got over 100,000 views just for a live stream. Um, so I think we might have to go back into it, especially because I... I, all I see is constant misinformation about it. I, I just continuously see misinformation about it. So, um, Jay Arrows, I just lost 25 pounds and heard about climbing and the injuries you've had. And with me being the military, I wonder if it's safe. It's a fun and safe thing to get into, says Jay Arrows. Oh, absolutely. Climbing is the most fun sport I've ever had. I'd recommend it to everyone. It, it's amazing. It's, it's, individual it's you can judge your own skill and how much you're getting better you can kind of like min max stuff in that way it's perfect for nerdy people uh like every engineer that i know climbs um it's great for fitness um i've talked a lot about my injuries because i've had them but also i was climbing at a very high level um so if you want to get into climbing i'd say get into it um go you probably have a climbing gym in your area. Buy a day pass. They're usually like 20 bucks. Um, and just try it out. You won't be doing anything overtly dangerous for a long time. I'm talking about holding my entire body weight on like two or three fingers. On an edge that is maybe, you know, five millimeters. You know, my entire body weight on this. It's effectively like a ballerina pose with their feet on an edge that you wouldn't be able to hold on. So that's that's when the in injuries happen. What time are office hours again? So there's over review effect. Um, well, I wanted to do this today because this game came out today. Um, so we'll swap this with the uh, gaming stream. So we'll do Friday. Friday at 3. After your stream, I, uh, Ohio stream, I did notice how some news sources were exaggerating the damage. Says Luis Valenzuela. I mean, I see popular Reddit posts saying that Ohio is might be the worst ecological disaster in U.S. history, which is so, so incorrect. So it is... We're not going to learn anything unless we get scope and scale correct here. Chet, this isn't a science office hours. 
this is a scientist plays atomic heart what was worse is anthony kirby uh, the, Exxon, the Exxon Valdez spill, the Great Molasses Flood of 1919 in Boston, uh, Superfund sites around the country that are contaminated with radioactive material, um, basically everything else that's noteworthy. The amount of misinformation is confusing me. Are we dying or not, nah? says Dr. Husk. No, you're not dying. Um, no. We'll get into it on Friday. Continue. Okay, horny robot. What am I doing? Oh, I have to. I'm choosing shock. Got it. Okay. Do that. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? No. Installing. Switch to crafting. Next screen. Switch to crafting. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? Thrust it deep into my socket so I can make it sturdier and sharper. Nora can upgrade weapons and equipment, as well as manufacture new items from blueprints. To do this, Provide the repair vendor with the resources you will undoubtedly find as you rummage through the entire area. You can fill me with whatever you want, big guy. Insert your axe. I'll give you the time of your life. You're sick, you know that. Deeper? Again? Oh, yes, honey, more! More! Yes! Yeah, sure, I'll, um, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll upgrade it. Yeah, that's what you want, I guess. Okay, 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 maybe, okay, I'll just, uh, yeah, let's do, yeah, let's, uh, let's do a ground attack here, that's, that's fine. Let's install that. Yeah, that, that's probably fine. But I can do so much more! Yeah, a gonna, quick romp just, with your axe is just a taste of things to come, okay, you I'm just, handsome beast. Okay, I'm Did just, you enjoy it, big guy? Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna... Cool. Use this powerful <laughs> weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over this way. Oh man. That it, why is she so horny? Okay, so how do I activate my shock? I just want to know. What's this? That's what that is. Okay, don't talk to me. Don't, don't, just don't talk to me. Okay, cool. <laughs> why is my shock on, on, uh, triangle? That's weird. Sorry, I'm just salvaging parts to uh, have sex with that robot over there. <laughs> yeah, that exchange was far too long, I agree. No accounting for taste, Chad. Okay, that's how that works. Got it. I'm a little flustered, Chad! So now we're back to... What did I just do? Did I just... Did I just accidentally use a health item? Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Is this on Steam? Yes. Missions can be detected via scanner. Oh, 
Well, that didn't. I love how well done the HUD elements are. Yeah, yeah, they do look really nice. Classic music. Let's go around the side there. Stay away from Hornybot. Yeah, don't watch this game with your parents, Jet. Down there, I guess? 360! Oh. Well, how do you expect me to get down there? You want me to jump or something? Oh, come on, man. I'm an American. Could you, uh, oh, sorry. Ugh, supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess, you can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> The gameplay is great so far, but the dialogue, whew. I mean, this is what you want. I mean, for a new single-player game, I, you know, I do want the moments of, like, what the heck, and this is awesome, and oh my goodness, and be shocked and surprised, and everything looks new, and, and it's interesting. I like that. I like all that, even though it's a little horny, but bad dialogue is hard to get around. It's nice and dark. But and take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. How do I throw something after I picked it up? Clerpin. Mm -hmm. Just straight clerpin. Hey, what's in there? That's not. Throw it. Ah! Hey. Ow. I forgot the dodge button. Glurp! You don't got glurped. <laughs> don't like how unlikable most game protagonists are nowadays, is Patrick. Most recent big games, I mean, Arthur Morgan, Aloy, Kratos, and they're all pretty great. Oh, that's what he meant. Hey, so, like, if I just don't go there, will you not look at me? Hey, so could you... Oh. Glurpin' time! This is satisfying. I do like this. I do like the ability to glurp in mass. How's the game so far, says Darth. I like it a lot. It's it's pretty horny. But the design... Aha! You found the key. We can access Aside the from the dialogue, right yep. the, all the design choices and I need some parts to are all really weapon. cool. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. It sounds so bad. Um, yeah, I'm liking everything but the dialogue a lot. Like, imagine if this was silent. And you have, like, this level of just creative design and uh, world building and stuff. Like, he was silent and, you know, nothing talked to you. I think it'd be pretty cool. It I keep forgetting this scan my area. I heard the Russian dialogue is the way to go. That's what I told chat. But no. 
I don't think chat wants to read. And that's fine, because the dialogue's really, uh, the, 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 um, the dialogue boxes, I can't adjust their size, so I can't, I don't think I can make them big enough. AI domination but horny? Is that the context? No. Yeah, let the environment do the talking. That's Yeah, that's what I say, too. But everything else, I mean, technically, everything... Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. And we're back. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to listen to this guy. I just refuse. It's taken me out of it. I want to be immersed. I don't want to listen to this guy. I don't know if it's the voice actor. It's definitely the direction. But it's just, it's just not good. It's just not. Okay, so where am I at now? Okay, it doesn't reach that far. You got it. <laughs> now let's hear that same thing again. Like this. Так, вставляем печеньку. О, даже замки любят печеньки. Раз. Слушаю вас. А ты любишь печеньки? Way better. Лазерные реле системы пассивной безопасности. Знакомая штука. Тут требуется цветовой код. Кодов у нас, к сожалению, нет. Поэтому попробуйте подобрать его логически. Что, правда? А я-то собирался стоять тут до тех пор, пока оно само не включится. This is honestly terrible. I'm not liking this game. So, this is so much better. Chat, make up your mind. Just, let's give it a minute. Let's just try it for a minute. I forgot what he said already. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Magnetic flux, huh? I'm a scientist. But I don't know how this is supposed to... I don't... What... How is it showing me what's correct or not? I don't... I don't understand. Попробуйте сопоставить цвета лазерных лучей с цветами индикаторных ламп. Это должно быть... Oh, 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 oh. Got it, 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 got it. Understood. Or not. Oh, 
порядок. Питание восстановлено, можно возвращаться. Чат, я не нужна помощь с этим. Я в порядке. Теперь что я делаю? Let's open the door. Ну, и в какой из них заходить? Предлагаю в правой. То есть ты не в курсе. Тогда я пойду в левый. Для облегчения навигации я пометил вам, куда нужно идти. Я вообще-то не тупой. Сам разберусь, как именно мне выполнять задание. Я лишь хотел упростить вам задачу. Ты мне ее серьезно упростишь, если перестанешь. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Okay, chat. Now, now everyone's confused. All right, here we go. Okay. We have one minute. I know that subtitles are small, and and therefore it's hard to read, and you can't understand anything. I get that. But the voice acting is also very bad in English. So, here is a poll. You have un minuto. That's just as cringe? How? Chat, you have a single minute. 50%. The hentai glove is the only thing making it weird. Says J Arrows. Like the stream, how's the game? Everything is good except for the uh, the voice acting, which we can't seem to uh, come to an agreement on. Dankster, welcome. So dank. We're still we're about fifty percent. I'll give it another minute. Oh, still fifty. Crow Stasis was another game that's way better in Russian. I mean, it's kind of like it's kind of Tarkovian. Now English. Now English is ahead. Hmm. Yeah, chat, I think it's going to be too hard to just understand what's going on if we don't have English. Uh, no, main menu. Got it. It's alright. I uh, exited to desktop last time. That was my mistake. We'll get in. Chat, we'll get into it. Here, we're good to go. Okay, now we get to hear it. Yeah, the, the horny robot will be much better now. Chat, it is easier for all of us if we're English speakers to just hear it rather than constantly read. All right, here we go. Oh, chat, good. We get to hear about cookies again. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm so much faster at glurping right now. Look at me, I already know all my glurp patterns. Go down here. We do that. We run past that. We do this. We go down here. We do that. We go past here. We turn around here. We go around this hole. We go here. Oh no, I haven't had enough uh, Zerberus. I'm I'm told the game's good. Um, hey, I was just trying to change the dialogue. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles. Yes. Do you like cookies? I uh have. -huh. I, I, I just don't know, Chad. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand? Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. New channel challenged. Top world speed glurper for Atomic Heart. You're on. I can glurp like there's no tomorrow. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. 
I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easy. If you were... Well, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me. Please continue. Ooh, I like... You can see the act... We haven't had a science time in a while because we've been focusing too much on this. Um, but see how the, uh, the magnets flipped? Ooh, someone's about to get clerped. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Got it. Oh! Hey, hey! Woo! I heard that their, so their sight lines are pretty unforgiving. That they can see you from a long ways away. Someone's about to get glurped. Where'd you go? Uh oh. Don't want to waste ammo, chat. Glurped. Glurped. Yes, glurp his thorax. Yes, perfect. That other guy got bodied. I like that. Glurp. Horny bot? Glurped. Fading data. Hey. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Where'd... Where'd horny bot go? Um, ooh, a lot of different guns, huh? I want the fat boy. Um, oh, I don't have much, huh? I don't have much stuff. Yeah, how do I upgrade this thing? Level one. What do I need? I have 35 of that. Superconducting. Use of superconductor reduces the loss of incoming kinetic impact velocity. What? Do I have enough? No. So that's level one. Got it. What is this thing? Oh, 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 I understand. Yeah, do that. What do you mean? It says, I need 23. I have 63. I'm confused. Oh. Oh, I was upgrading the wrong one. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. And we'll save it. Tactical, you can you can unhide all the stuff that says horny. It's kind of it's kind of how the game is right now. Okay. Let's go. Those guys got glurped. Big time. Ooh, I, rec I recognize this spot from the trailers. Mine's the facility. There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. The atmosphere is great. Uh oh. Just getting the patterns, chat. Anything to glurp around here?
Does that thing go all the way down here or no? You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. Who are you talking to? They can do really cool stuff with swimming in this, like, suspendable liquid. There's no time to lose. But it also connects me with everyone else connected with polymer, I guess? Yes, the hole. Yes, there you go. Like swimming with the dolphins, chat. I didn't expect this. This is pretty cool. Works for you. The cable car is offline. Reboot the control system to reactivate the line. How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. Chef, a thanks for being here. Lock. Uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Something's gotta move. Anything. Uh what was that? Station, but they won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. No, nope. won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neural polymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. That's pretty cool. able to couple with one another to produce a full-blown airborne city with residential, industrial... The schematic, the one I need to move the cars, where is it? The station monster has it. He didn't make it. It wasn't as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. <laughs> Did the station master die in this tunnel? This OCD tunnel, guy, welcome. He died. Everything froze right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Skip. Holy fuck. A talking corpse. Which will soar above us all in just ten years time. Okay. Alright. A lot of safe stations. Fading data. Guess I gotta go back? Do I jump into the glurp? Or do I just keep going down that way? Or do I keep going up this way? Where am I? Who knows? Is there a map? Ooh. Didn't even look at this yet. Got it. These are all self-contained. Going that way. Brownie cakes, welcome. Man, you should have over a million subs, dude. I watch your main channel all the time, says OCD guy. Uh, but, yeah. Gaming channel's a side gig. Okay, so I need to go glurp something for him. Got it. Do I jump back into the into the blue? Yes. Into the goo we go, chat. Zerberus, thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Into the gloop we glurp. <laughs> Those save rooms give you a panic attack? What? <laughs> Probably should have checked my surroundings there on that one, chat. That one's on me. That was on me. How do I get on the other side of that? Yeet. 
Let me glurp the schematic. Must glurp it. Hey. Get over here. Hey. This would be clever if you let me do that. Glurp it. Glurp it. Slurp it. I can't do it. Eh. How do I get up? Connection to what, chat? I don't know. Online servers, I guess? Lurping it. Chat, I'm no longer sure what's happening. How do I get in there? Oh, wait. No. Can't, can't, I can't gleep that glorp. Can I? Oh, it's right there, isn't it, chat? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Well, at least I get to glorp a little bit. Alright, chat, we're back through the goop. My bad. I gooped to gleep. I didn't glorp, gleep a gleep a glorp enough. That was my bad. I glorped when I should have glooped. Nah, that was the issue. It's right there, isn't it, Chad? Oh my goodness! It's too. I could I, on my monitor. It's actually pretty dark. I couldn't. I couldn't <laughs> see that. There it is. Let's glorp it. I guess I just. <laughs> Here's the schematic. Put that thing there. Charles. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. Appreciate it, OCD guy. Away, Say hello to your grandson for me. Temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they going to talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. Wait. Wait. Oh, it showed me. Aha! That's why it was simple. It showed me what was on the skin. Got it. It's like, it's like this, wasn't it? No, it was like. Ah, crap. It was like this, right? Right. Chat. I didn't know how it worked. One second. I didn't know the mechanics of it. I do like that all of these locks, every single lock has been different so far. I do like that. Oh, and it has directionality to it, huh? Interesting. Can you turn off the voice and do a horrible Russian accent instead? No. Chat doesn't like when I switch the voices back and forth. You can't just make a U. It has to. You had it. You had to do it in that specific order. I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry, no ticket. We are ready to depart. Sorry, no ticket. Ten, nine. Jeez. Eight. Seven. Six. Off we go. Does this game have handlers? This messed up. It's got bad it's dialogue, is that, is that good enough? Like, imagine if the whole game was silent up at this point, and you're just like, what is going on? I think it would have been far better. Whoa! Going a little too fast now.
Well, that didn't work out too well, huh? <laughs> Fuck. I knew it was gonna be rough. Careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. Wrecked. Get Glorps. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad. Nice, nice grab, dude. Why didn't you? All right. All right. Glorp? Oh, I was supposed to hit that. Why didn't I? Yeah. That's way too far a jump. No one could make that jump. No way. See, it says I can make it. But then I don't make it. You know what I mean? Like, why? Tension. Tension. It was a surprise. We know it was a surprise. It was a surprise for all of us. Got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. Can I actually make this jump? <laughs> Just let me enjoy the coolness of the game. Stop talking. Right? A tunneling robot. That, that gives me Horizon Zero Dawn vibes. can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Come on, man. Hey. You see, Chet? Uh-oh. Just a second. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, I can dodge while I heal. I like that. Bye bye. Get out of my way, there's gleeping and glorping to be done. The combat is hard, I do- I like that the combat is hard. Glorp. Now, where do I gleep? Do I follow the- I follow the worm. Into gleep town. Why did I turn Gleep and Glorp into the word for this stream? I don't know. Look at it. What else would I, What else does it look like I'm doing? Irony, comrade. I took such good care of those wonderful power. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. You, you don't have to. Talk. How does the melee feel? Do I ever a little crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Uh the melee's a little sluggish, but I think you can finesse it. Where am I going after this thing? That's where I came from, right? So I'm gonna have to... Is that a middle point I can be at? I think... Nope, I'm gonna get sliced and dice. Nope. 
Nope. Why are you getting stuck? Hey, this is my stop. What a nice trip. Shut up, man. Shoddy shells. Nice. At least it's not an insta kill section. Yes, that's good. Horny bot. I get? Got a handle. Hey, chat. Do the do the uh, doors to the uh, the horny bot area look like anything to you, or is that just me? Moving on. Oh, there she is. Just became cubes. <laughs> cool. Glorp, 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 glorp. Oh, a laser wall. That's some serious security. Don't have time. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. Honey, you're back. What took you so long? I was so... Ugh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us apart. Take off that stupid glove so we can stay together forever. I see. Do you want me to punch you or tear you apart? You'd really kill. Oh, a glitch. Thank God. <laughs> Tell me over a stupid glove, sugar. How would you survive Never in mind. this cruel, violent world without me? Easily. It's not like you're actually helping me or anything. But I can't make things for you out of thin air, sugar. I need polymer and other components to work. Put your polymer inside me so I can pleasure you. Just gonna not work. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you... Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through and wrap. That hurt. That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word being... Almost. You got that right. Let's go find that traitor. When I get my hands on him, I'm gonna rip his fucking head off. Let me... Hey. <laughs> that voice line was skipped. That's fine. Creepy time? Don't worry, honey, I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burab. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. 
Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion. Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Get that alert. Lockdown in progress. I'm dead. I'm dead. Wrong button. I can't see anything. Lousy <laughs> piece of shit. Jeez. Taking a beat in here, man. He's pretty good at ordering those robots around. It's almost like they're his property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. Whew. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector, and we'll have to track him down again. Glurped. 1.25 gigaglurp? Gigaglurps? Maybe. What? Oh, I didn't... I didn't... Why would I want to do that? What if I press triangle? It just summons more of them? On unlimited supply of gigaglurps, maybe? This place is creepy, man. Whew! Twist, you get to the final level of the facility and you have to fight Comrade Kai on the Mirror Universe. Well, you're gonna have to fight me anyway. I'm the final boss. So I'm not gonna heal until I run through a laser wall. On purpose. Yeet. Yeet. Or not. This guy's got Charles, control. what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Just glurping up like crazy. I could have gotten more upgrades, but I honestly didn't want to hear the horny robot talking. <laughs> Maybe off stream I'll do it. <laughs> Buster, have we had any science time since since halftime? I think I've just been looking uh, shocked by the horniness <laughs> for the last hour. Lurpin. Excuse me, sir, can you... Okay. Gun time. Gun time to gun, gun time? Only eight rounds. That's so good. I wish the voice actor was better in his lines. I know. Oh. Okay. So... Do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily, but the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, may maybe between the horny robot and the dialogue, it's been hard to do science times. I'm sorry. But I have a gun. Dave Breen with the five. Hey, curious, what is the polymer resin in its purpose? In the game, it says it is an electric 
storage device. Um, and in the game's lore, it's they say it's based off of silicon and heavy water. Uh, heavy water is water, H2O, but both of those H's with the O, covalently bonded with the O, are deuterium. So you've heard of uh, deuterium and tritium. Hydrogen that has one additional neutron is deuterium and two additional neutrons is tritium. So heavy water is... Uh, O, and then the two hydrogens are both deuterium, so uh, both with um, an extra neutron. Um, usually hydrogen doesn't have a neutron at all, it's just a proton with an orbiting electron. It is used as a fusion fuel because when you want to uh, fuse something together, you have to overcome the strongest force, relatively speaking, in the universe, which is the strong nuclear force. The strong nuclear force keeps atoms from occupying the same space. It's very, 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 very strong repulsive force at the smallest of scales. Um, and so you want um, the smallest atom possible so you don't have to overcome many, many particles worth of strong uh, nuclear forces. So you just go with a single proton. But you also, when, that, uh, when two things come together to form a different element, like uh, from hydrogen to helium, which is the easiest way to do fusion, you still want a, as much mass as you can so that when it comes together in fusion to form helium and loses a little bit of mass, that little bit of mass is converted directly into energy according to E equals MC squared, and you want the most of that little bit of mass that it can be, so you use a heavier version of the smallest element, which is deuterium and tritium, which is why it is used in fusion experiments um, and fusion fuel, and that's why you hear about it. I think that makes up for all the horniness. Go in. Go in. <laughs> Uh, go in there. Oh, okay. oh, I understand. Could I have unlocked something over there? Like in the Red Science Time font. Yes, it's... It's, uh... Intentional. Science through the horniness, Kyle! You can do it! What, what, what did that do? Come here. Yep. Scientific palate cleanser. I know. Uh. Okay. It's a candle. She does not sing. Well, the red is more. The red is for the Soviet theme. It wasn't. Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock All right. therapy usually works pretty well on Just a that second, I'm blurping. Metallic or otherwise. Just a second. It is satisfying to just... You don't have to search anything, you just blurp it. I do like that. And I'm hoping I... Oh yeah, and I can hold an unlimited amount because according to quantum singularity, they shrink everything in my backpack. I'm having a good time, chat. If you're having a good time, let me know. Like the stream now. Hey. Thanks. What is, what is it? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? What does that mean? Okay. That was the wrong button. Nice. Yeah, that sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What now the fuck does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> uh, so I've heard that the frame rate on some of these moving robots is something that they're going to fix. Gets a little weird, but that's okay. Not mission critical. Horny bot, upgrade me. A new Access granted. What is this thing? Insufficient resources to glurp this bad boy. Well, I'm gonna upgrade. I know I have the handle for this thing. 
Scott here. Is the game fun? It is. Re the design's really cool. The gameplay is cool. Um, the 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 graphic design is really quite incredible. It's just the dialogue. Thanks for being here, Tesseract, and thank you for your kind words earlier. I think I have a grip, right? I can turn it into a shotgun? Increases attack speed. Okay, there we go. So let's do that. Let's see if we can... Main character doesn't sound seem so smart for a major. Chef, welcome. Do I have anything here? Increases damage, reduces recoil. Yeah, yeah. I need recipes for all this other stuff. <gasps> oh, I can change what bullets do, too. Alright, that that those were two upgrades. That's fine. Yeet. Fading data. Got a lot of bullets. Let's do it. You're a pillar of the community. You deserve all the good feels, says Tesseract. Tesseract, will you calm down? I'm not a pillar of nothing. As we established, I am a simp for robot ladies. You were asking, like, should you buy this game? Um, my impression of it right now is I'd say give it a try. It is WTF, en WTF enough um, and interesting visually enough, and the combat is Bioshocky and good enough that I would say give it a try. Um, it looks I, like there was a containment breach in the algae. I would buy it and experiment regardless, just to try it. That's actually good for me us. personally. But the dialogue is pretty bad. And if that really takes you out of stuff, then you know. Can I use a mini one instead of a big one? Here we go. How do I get over there? See, see, that's what I like. Clever design of use the goo to get over the stuff. You realize you're the creator of this pathogen was, don't you? Hey. Hey. Wrecked. Alright, so the one at my current upgrade level, the white guys will go down. What's this? Well. What do we have here? The white guys will go down with a shock and a blast. It's on Game Pass, yeah. It's a day one Game Pass. Hey, buddy. You're about to get one tood. This is the. Let's see what you got! A kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You egg. I've got one. Ooh, so that's cool, chat. That's a little sciencey thing. So, lunar soil is called. Regolith, um, and it's a soil distinct from any kind of soil that you'll find here on Earth. Apparently, uh, I would guess that the scientists here, um, the scientists here are testing whether or not certain um, plants grow in lunar, lunar regolith because you've heard earlier in the game that it's very important important for these scientists to start expanding um, their civilization out into the solar system. The the moon being uh, an obvious choice as a first step as is real life. Um, I like that this lock has a mouth. I think that's an interesting design. But lunar regolith is unlike anything you find on Earth. Why? Well, because uh, the lunar regolith, it do it's not churned about by the atmosphere and by um, environmental forces. It is not moved around by the wind, the water. It is not under the exposure of snow and... and um, Etc. And that those environmental conditions on Earth tend to spherify particles, 
like sand on earth. Sand is because it, it's constantly moved about. It is constantly in motion. Um, it is, it becomes more spherical over time, which changes how it stacks its mechanical properties. If you're trying to build something out of it, etc., etc. What I'm getting at is that because there's no atmosphere, there's no movement through the environment, lunar regolith isn't spherical or more circular or more spherical, uh, relatively speaking. It is spiky. Lunar regolith is spiky. And so when you see those footprints on the moon that have lasted for decades, it is because when you press into the lunar regolith, it has a lot more internal strength and friction because all the little particles are little spiky spikes orient them that, you know, stick in different configurations, not like spheres that would move past each other and, and get into some um, different packing arrangement. And that is why footprints on the moon have lasted that long and why they look like that, why they make such good boot prints. Something that uh, moon landing deniers don't quite understand. Now let's rego some lith, baby. I guess this, I gotta listen more for that messaging. Well, I didn't do that. I guess I'll go here and glurp. This is some prime glurping music chat. Weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Yeah. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm Wait, based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Wait, Consequences what? has found a way to calculate musical radio what? waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine, after all. What? what you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. <laughs> he just says neat. I just told you, I just told you that this thing using a neural network can simulate what modern music will be like in the future, and it sounds good, and it sounds like music, and your response is neat. I think a neural network would be able to do that, train itself on all the music ever written and then generate something based on the trends of all the music that it listened to. If you order it chronologically, extrapolate into the future what future mu music might sound like and then get trained on that in return and then get better and better. And then you know, all of a sudden you have neural network radio stations all over the world and you have people trying to change what the future of music is going to be like by changing music. And all you say is neat. It's a good thing I'm not in this game chat. I would have been domed by one of these guys while I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Sick. Uh, inches of goo. I'm going to time. What if the whole room was goo? And it contained all the memories of dead people. Zoop. D goo. Let's all agree, future music will be pretty lame, says Rise Against Them. Only if you're old. Uh-oh. Oh no. Not that batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not I, so fast, I agree. comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you. They are unpleasant. But it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. Okay. okay, just give me the electric gun and please don't sexually assault me. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna... Oh, I need that. Put that in my there butt. Is. There you go. And then here we go. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh. Don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. 
I was a bad girl and strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. I was so lonely. I had to blow off some steam. Enough. Will this ever end? Don't get flustered over such... Oh, man. Wait, which... Wait, what? Wait. Oh, it's making. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Alright. Give me that. Oh, man. Do you like it? I do, I do. Just, I, I do. Okay. Yes, I, I do. Did okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry, 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 sorry. Please don't SA me. That was good. This is Jay Arrows with the 1999. Appreciate it. Wait, so what is... Oh, that's my gloves energy in the bottom right. Got it. Does that refill automatically over time? That's what I want to know. It does. Got it. Okay. So this does what? I guess it just does some amount of damage, huh? Alright, we'll try. I can't tell what doors can open and can't open. Yeah, it's a good looking gun. Okay, uh, so sorry. Bye bye. She's Pepe Charles, Le Pewing me, chat. What does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Captain, Why would he need weapons? Calm He's down. got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will... I'm gonna go ahead and guess right now, chat, that he's not actually a traitor. ...defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. <laughs> that very well may be. Calm down. Regardless, man. Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms You're were glurp still wick. in a most hideous manner. <laughs> That's true. dirty son of a whore. Okay, we're just gonna skip that voice line, I guess. Here we go. Yep. Back in business. Let's give the face. Let's give the. F hey, look! It's I like human music. Uh, let's give that face robot more lunar soil. I've got another one. Done. Holy moly, you are too young to know who Pepe Le Pew is, is Zoot. I've seen cartoons, man. I'm probably older than you think. <laughs> Even though I am immortal. Technically. Technically. Chad, I think the next short on this... On this channel is going to be a compilation of me looking very uncomfortable. Can I shoot this? Does that do the same thing as this? Nope. Got it. Whew, this place is huge. Get sexually assaulted by Nora often, and don't forget to learn skills and upgrade your weapons. Oh. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank. The heart of the Vavilov complex. Ooh. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants. Look at that. Are so here. that those are convective heaters, I would imagine. Um, and what you do is you just run an electric current through something that resists the flow of that current, and that resistance gets turned. Um, that electrical energy gets turned into heat, um, following entropy as we all are, as we all decay into dust. Similarly, if you take something like an electric current and you make it to work through a system, some of that energy is lost, that energy is lost as heat, it is inefficient, but it is a good way to heat something a lot. So they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Beep. The seed bank is the treasure trove of the Babylon complex, a collection that is enriched daily okay. by... Are you, are, you the hot, are you the horny bot or the normal one? Authorization. Okay, good. Major Nichayev. Major Nichayev. Okay, I can't get that yet. Can't. Oh, this is for crafting. It's all this stuff. Railgun. Yeah. Okay. Upgrade. Um. What should I. Uh, I should up. 
I feel like upgrading the stuff that um, isn't going to take actual ammo, you know? Very much enjoying the stream and the Science Times. Thanks, Kyle, since Jared. Jared, you're always, you're always in the chat. I appreciate you. Recipe. Glad you're enjoying it. Increases damage. Upgrade. With only those. 17 and 16 and 90. That's almost everything. Let's go a little bit... F wait, 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 wait. Authorization. Major Nichayev. Let's see if I can upgrade my shock or something. Upgrade the shooty shotgun. Yeah. Wait. Oh, man. There's a lot of stuff I can do, chat. Oh, man. It doesn't even tell me to get... Well, there's shields. There's energy management. There's frostbite. Oh, I can get, like, all of this right now, huh? Huh. Okay. Oh, mass telekinesis. That's the cool one. I want to see that. that. That's the ability that I've... That I, uh... Grip all enemies in the area effect, lifting up in the air a short period. Of... Let's do right. And then this is going to be... Oh, so that's a skill. That's not the... Okay, okay, okay. That's the one I've seen in the, um... Okay, see, this is the one I've seen in the, um, Get Frost. Look at all the cool ability shorts. <sighs> okay. So, what will it be, Major? Um, okay. So, I think I can get Frostbite as well. I know that's good. Yeah, I can get it. Installing. L installation. Um. Install. Oh, I get it. Okay, uh... Look at the little animations. Okay, so... Okay. So I can always shock with this. Oh, but I can switch with this. Oh, I can switch those with this. And then I do this. Wait. Wait, that's... Wait, what? Huh? Eh? That's quick switch? Wait. What? No, I didn't. I'm confused. Okay. <laughs> switch like that. Okay. Okay. So now. Oh. 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 Okay. Got it. So this is still shock, and then this would be mass gravitation. Bam. Got it. And then if I want to switch that, I switch to... You can do it. You can do it. I know you can. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Got it. Got it. Understood. More human music. I like human music. Leaping and glorping, chat. Crispy critters. They're most certainly crispy, Major. Eh? Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Warning. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the sea fan vault. container integrity. What? 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 What is? <laughs> In the head? <laughs> no, switch that. I want to try this. How do I slam him back on the ground? That's what I want. Stop repairing them. Glorp it. Okay, that was a little bit more hectic than I wanted it to be. I'm getting used to the controls. They're not 
They're not like Bioshock controls. Hey, can't get me over here, can you? Silly machine. point of this? Maybe this one? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this looks like it's not going to lead to anything, but let's do it. I can't see anything! And now I can't get down! Chat! Have you streamed Bioshock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did the whole. We d we did a lot of the game. Why would I be able to climb up there if I couldn't? Great, excellent. Can't get down. Can't get down. Can't do anything. Going to. How do I get down? How do I get down? Oh, look at the floor. Got it. You live, you learn, chat. Alright, so, I, this doesn't look like ice. Alright, uh, fine, but it's ice. Got it. Don't do it. Hey, buddy. Oh, that was cool. I mean, not him hitting me, but... Oh no, it's horny robot time. I've upgraded. I've already upgraded, man. Leave me alone. Authorization. Major Nichayev. Code name. Oh, man. Chet, I want you to be honest. Did you expect me to be as good at beatboxing as I am. Go ahead, be honest. Go ahead. I don't think you were. What does this thing do? Increased damage, increased rate of fire. Yeah. Yes. Electromagnetic barrel. Chant, what does electromagnetic barrels do? Yeah, I was impressed, personally. Yeah, you're gonna be- Yeah, did you hear that? That's what that was supposed to be, says Jason? Shut up. Um, electromagnetic barrel takes a, uh, takes advantage of the electromotive force, EMF. When you put something conductive in the presence of a changing magnetic field, you can impose a force on it. And electromagnetic barrels would be barrels timed electromagnetically, which is to say with electromagnetic, with electromagnets that will fight with, that will activate, that you'll run a current through them at the right times to create 
opposing magnetic fields at the right times. As the projectile moves down the barrel, accelerating it at crazy re- at crazy speed. Oh, was that beatboxing? Is that what you were so- supposed to be doing there? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what that does, but we're gonna get it. Oh, got it. Slurping it. Fading data. This electromagnetic gun seemed pretty bad. How do I? Quick switch, then. What does this button do? Oh! Oh, this thing's gonna take off a leg. Got it. Okay. I'd rather just slow down time and change weapons, but... I don't want to go down there, I want to go over here. Hey, buddy. I see you. Yeah, I see you. Come on. I dodged that. <laughs> Someone's gonna get a boomy. Oh, or not? I'm dead. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I didn't know that those things were a thing. <laughs> oh, why does he have so much more health than the other guys? Look it out. Lurp it up. That guy had way more health chat, huh? This game is glitchy. That's running all right on my end. Okay. All the way down. There you go. What? Whoa, hello. What the heck was that? What the heck is this little guy? Hey. Lurp it. Lurp them. Quickly. There's no time. You must lurp. This minigame is hard. Renbri, thanks for being here. Actually, we're almost done with the stream. Because I have a call to get on. This gun doesn't seem good to me. Liz says, why does fish smell like fish when it's cooked? I guess that just the components of its body. I don't know. I think I can make that jump yet. <clears throat> don't need to. Back to horny bot we go. Chat. I don't think I'm gonna get very much further before I have to go. So I want to know one thing. Did you enjoy today's stream? What are my thoughts on Atomic Heart so far? It is a visually stunning, very interesting take on a Bioshocky kind of theme. Um, I don't know much about the story yet. Uh, the the um, combat is pretty hard, which I appreciate. 
The weapons are interesting. I don't, I don't know what level I'm supposed to be at or what, um, what upgrades I'm supposed to be using at that point in the story. I don't know if I'm doing uh, it correctly, but right now it seems like something I definitely want to dive deeper into, especially knowing that robot mommies are in the game and that um, some giant, really cool bosses are in the game that I want to see. Um, so I'd say right now, it's something that I will go back and play. And if you want me to go back and play it for you, best way to let me know that is comment on the video, like the stream, subscribe to the gaming channel, lets us here at the facility, the original facility, know that this is something we should keep on doing. Chat, everyone have a good time. What do you think of Commander Master so far, says Scott? I think it's going to be the biggest product of the year. Easy. The fact that it's going to do alternate art reprints of, like, Jeweled Lotus and all that stuff, it's going to be nuts. It's going to be so expensive. It's just like real life, says Jay Arrows of the 1999. Jay, thank you for your continued support today. Buster, thanks for being here. How many uh, science times do we have? We didn't have as many in the second half of the stream because I was too busy being verbally assaulted. We're at 15 science times in three hours. You can do the math, chat. Like I said, uh, coming up at the facility, we do have an episode about Atomic Heart coming up on the main channel. It's less about the game, it's more about some of the technological advancements they made in the game, according to the game, most notably Cold Fusion, is what the episode will be about. Um, we'll start, I'm starting work on another Half-Life Histories uh, this week. Um, I have a lot of, I have a lot of great ideas coming up in the coming months at the facility. Of course, if you want to be on the ground floor, if you want to be in the know, inside of the blast doors for everything that we do here, not just gaming, but our main job of educating while entertaining. That's patreon.com slash Kyle Hill. You get access to all the videos early, behind the scenes stuff, everything I'm working on. You get to vote on titles and thumbnails. So you directly determine what we do on YouTube at large. You get to talk to me on our private members only Discord. I hear it's one of the most kind, most interesting nerd havens on the internet. At least that's what I hear from my patrons. You see many of them in the chat, like Liz, like Chef, like Dagon. I appreciate all of you being here. If you want to see more Atomic Heart, that's something I'll put on the community channel for the gaming uh, for the gaming page, and we'll, we'll put a poll up. We still have to finish Dead Space or not. We still have to finish Elden Ring or not. Or you could just see me be flustered by horny robots. If that's something you want to check out, let me know. Chat, I hope you, Chatathan Taylor Thomas, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I gotta run. I have a businessy business phone call. And I got a mini fridge for the gaming command center. So I will be glurping and slurping for the foreseeable future. Chat, have a wonderful rest of your day. I appreciate you. Be nice to each other. Because this is all we got. I'm trying to time it with the music. Kevin, why'd you start the song if I was going to end the stream? Oh.